Greetings, everybody. It is now 1.05 p.m. as I'm recording this in the afternoon East Coast time, 8 o'clock in the evening in Ukraine. And as I always like to share with you, listen to the source. Tonight, just a few minutes ago, Vladimir Zelensky speaking in his evening address as he speaks into his iPhone looking to the Ukrainian people. He gave an update on the events of the day, but in particular, at the very end of his update, he spoke directly about Olaf Scholz's call to Vladimir Putin. About two hours ago, I dropped a video explaining to you guys the call happened. Scholz uh, not only spoke with Putin, they talked about different things as we discussed in the previous video. You can check that out. But additionally, he did tell Zelensky, I do not know if they have talked afterwards, but tonight we are hearing directly from President Vladimir Zelensky on his opinion about the Olaf Scholz, Olaf Scholz call to Vladimir Putin. And guys, without further ado, this is what you need to listen to. Listen to Zelensky. Here it is. Chancellor Scholz told me that he was going to call Putin. Olaf's call, in my opinion, is Pandora's box. Now, there may be other conversations, other calls, just a lot of words. And this is exactly what Putin has been wanting for a long time. It is extremely important for him to ease his isolation. Isolating Russia and negotiating like a normal negotiation that will end in nothing, as it has done for decades. This made it possible for Russia not to change anything in its policy, to do nothing, in fact. And that's what led to this war. We understand all these challenges now. We know how to act. And we want to warn that there will be no Minsk III. We need real peace. Glory to Ukraine. So guys, there you have it. Don't take it from me. Take it directly from Vladimir Zelensky. There will be no Minsk III. Thank you, Olaf Scholz. Today you have opened Pandora's box. You played right into the trap that Vladimir Putin has been waiting for, to ease that isolationism, to put him back on the center of stage like he has holding the authority. That is not how you negotiate with Vladimir Putin. That is not how you interact with a dictator, especially who is modern United uh, USSR, Soviet Socialist Republic, and KGB, and his mentality for how he's dealing not only with Ukraine, but with the rest of the world. Zelensky pulling no punches. You have opened Pandora's box, and now it may lead to other talks and other negotiations and other chats, and that is the opposite of what we need right now. Guys, that is the latest coming in from Ukraine. If you were wondering if Zelensky and Ukraine is happy about Schultz talking to Putin, there you have it, because he made it clear. If we go down this route, this will not be a just and lasting peace. We must have victory, and we must have the points of the Ukrainian victory plan, and it's very simple. So guys, today, I know a lot of short videos I'm putting up, but I want you to be able to see exactly what is happening, because November the 15th, Schultz's call to Putin, Zelensky's response, this is a big day, and we will see results coming from this for days and weeks and months forward. Thank you, guys. That is the latest. Zelensky's opinion on Schultz's call. Have a good day.